Hey everyone and welcome to this video based upon the Galaxy Note. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is give you a quick hardware tour, uh, take you around the phone, give you a quick look at the S Pen um, and go from there. So yeah, let's get into it. Obviously looking at the Galaxy Note, it has got a 5.3 inch um, HD Super AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1280 by 800 and it's currently, from what I understand, it's probably the highest resolution uh, phone out there at the moment. Obviously not a uh, PPI, but in terms of resolution, it's kind of obviously on power with tablets, but is it a phone, is it a tablet? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. So, obviously we'll give you a quick look around it. So obviously you've got your home button at the bottom, and obviously underneath there, you've got your micro USB, and also your microphone. Obviously that's where your S pin goes, which is showing just a moment. So the power button there. And if you don't know if you can see properly, but this here is kind of like a, um, it's like a, it's more like a titanium than a like a chrome finish. It does look actually really nice. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, which is a bit of a pain, but it's what you get. Obviously, got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So obviously, you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and also your microphone volume up and down on that side going to the back you've got your 5, your five megapixel shooter no you haven't you've got your 8 megapixel shooter Sam and you've got your LED flash and the bottom obviously you've got your speakerphone so we'll bring out the S Pen one feature I would have liked to see is when you take the S Pen out for the screen to turn on um, little things like that you know I think it was on one of my uh, one of my old Windows mobile phones um, you know, you pulled it out, it turned it on, and you know, it was awesome. So here's the pen. So actually, we'll just put off to the one side really quickly. So the pen itself, you know, it's got the very nice kind of like that um, titanium look on it again. Get it to focus, focus. Doesn't want to focus, does it? Maybe it will now. There we go. Oh, look at my freckles. So I was the S Pen. It does have the little kind of button there which I found very fiddly um, personally I think it's probably because I've got pretty fat fingers uh, but you basically when you try and push it in there at the top it does as, it has none of it it only likes it at the bottom but again that's just a little minor problem from uh, from I don't like the nib itself which obviously you can hopefully see there um, it's a, it's pretty hard nib. It's you know it's not your normal kind of rubber tip uh, because obviously it is you know battery up. I believe it's battery operated. If it's not, then I'll be very surprised. And then again, um, I don't know how you'd actually change the battery because I can't open it. So it, it's a very unique pen. Uh, it's not like something I've seen for these kind of devices before. So we'll just give you a quick look now. What I have noticed with the pen, which is really cool, is that if you just basically touch it. Don't, you don't know it's there. It's like nope, not there, not there. But as soon as you put your put any pressure on the nib, boom, he knows it's there straight away. I'll show you once again. So if you just scroll it across, it does nothing. It's like no, nope, don't even know you're there. Whereas with your finger, if you scroll it across, obviously you know it's there. But as soon as you apply pressure, boom, works straight away. And there's a cool looking background for those Android fans out there. Destroying the apple. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, very unique is the S Pen. Um, I'm impressed by it, but at the same point, it's just a little too small for my uh, for my particular fingers and for my particular hand size. Um, and we'll give you a quick look of also what the S Pen's all about. So going to the memos, and obviously any of these are the stock ones you do get, apart from obviously this one here, which I've done, which is a Sam's Note. So what you can do is once you've got one here. Uh, you can basically add another one so again you make sure you press down if you don't press down it's not going to work so you can kind of go like um, hey guys as you can see it's very very fluid but once again if you don't press down not going to work but as soon as you do press down boom and you can always go back when as you'd like so obviously while we're here, we'll show you what you do get. Obviously you can change all your different colours. You can do it from the pen. You can do the brush settings. You can also do um, a different variation of kind of like um, a line. 
and there you go again so there's different settings there with the brush one which i've noticed is that if you're pushing you know pretty lightly and the harder you push the, the you know as you can possibly see there the lighter it gets so the harder you push the darker it gets the lighter you don't push then obviously um you know gets darker when you push harder that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> so yeah and if you want to add another one again just tap just tap the little uh, plus in the top corner no you don't sam you push the little top little one at the bottom it saves this one it then puts it into a stack also known as a pile uh, and another you could do another one so it's like you know just kind of like just do a smiley face yay <laughs> so you can see it's very fluid it's very very fast it's you know it's uh, very detailed as well it's not just like oh it's very rough it you know you can you know add a bit of hair to it i don't know i don't know why i did this i know i'm gonna get a lot of abuse in the comments it's sam you can't draw you suck but hey there's curly sue <laughs> so the s pen very impressed a lot faster than i thought we were going to be uh, and it responds a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be as well. Um, mainly because when I got it, I was like, what's this all about? It's it's not really a... I'm not stylus, is it? It's not going to work. But, I mean, you can use it for everyday use. Obviously, you can do different widgets. You know, we'll do a... We've got, got a software overview and whatnot of... Uh, obviously, what's this all about? Uh, one thing I have noticed, it does only work on a screen. So, even if you want to try and use it on the back button or the menu button... Which you think, obviously, the capacitive, it may work. So whatever technology Samsung have decided to use, uh, it is for the screen only. But once again, you can use it for every part of the screen, which is cool. Um, you know, so you can basically use it for what you'd like. Obviously, jump up and down, go from left to right, blah, 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 and all that kind of good stuff. And obviously, you can jump into anything you'd like, and it's all good. A uh, cool feature of the S Pen is, let's say, like, all right, um... Yeah, I want to take a screenshot of that. Hold the little button down, hold it on screen, mm. boom, takes your screenshot. It then basically brings it up to the editor, so you can go, right, so let's say it's a web page, and you're thinking, right, I want to tell them that I don't like that. Get rid of that, so you can circle it, and then go, but what I do like is anything that's in red, you make sure you keep. So we want to keep that. We want to keep that on the website. But this, yeah, we're not too keen on that. So... We want the white to scribble that out, make sure that goes completely. But the black, just need a bit of editing. And also take that out there as so well, we don't like that. And then click save, cancel, or you can just basically send it on. So you can share, so sort of save it. And obviously you've got all these different options. Uh, you'll get all share Bluetooth, um, docs if you install it, Dropbox again, you'll have to install these. But yeah, so it's very, very fluid. It's very, very quick. Something I've been very impressed with is the S Pen. Um, and it's, if you know, if you're thinking, I want the phone because I want a stylus, get the phone. It's, uh, you know, you, you can't, you're not going to go wrong if you want the stylus, especially on an Android device because there's not many out there, um, if any, you know, that offer this functionality in, in this, you know, a compact design, as I would call it, um, up to, let's say, the HTC Flyer, which is quite a bit bigger than this bad boy. So that's just a quick look at the S Pen. Um, if you've got any requests for this one, then don't forget to leave them down below. I'll do my best to try and you know, fulfill your requests. Um, just to make you aware that in terms of the S Pen, um, and not the S, not just the S Pen, but the the uh, kind of the touch screen, you get three applications. You get S Memo, S Choice, and S Planner. So if we go into S Choice really quickly, all it does is it takes to sang some apps, and it gives you you know games applications you can use for the stylus now there are a few uh, there's an update we don't want to update it just yet that's it's not going to not going to work for us anyway screw that it's it's pretty good you know you can get some applications an s planner is pretty much as it says it's just your planner so it's you know your calendar so you want to go right well and i'll go to december what's on 2050 december oh it's christmas day so it's like, yep, cool, we'll add something into there. And it's just your basic things. Obviously, you can add it today, calendars, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's all your usual stuff you're going to be used to. Just, you know, kind of like more modified for the S Pen. So, if you've got any questions, you know what to do. Um, leave them down below. I did, again, once again, I, as I said previously, I will do my best to answer as many as I can. Um, so, yeah. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.